This is a Real Global Voice podcast, episode thirteen. You're listening to the Real Global Voice podcast, the show where Emmy sits down with inspiring and successful Japanese women who are doing amazing things around the globe. Do you want to study abroad, work internationally, or become an entrepreneur and work with people around the world? Don't limit yourself. These women will show you how to do it. You will learn what it means to have a global mindset and how to develop the communication and leadership skills that you need to be a successful global woman. Are you ready to learn about their inspiring journeys and discover what it takes to become a successful global woman? Let's start the show. Here is your host and a global talent development coach, Emiko from the Emmy Style. Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. I love learning and I love reading about self-help, female leadership, and any professional development books. But I'm a mom of two, and I'm also a full-time working mom. And I got no time to sit down and enjoy some tea and read in a quiet room. Lucky me, I found Audible, and I'm loving it. And I have been a user for over a year now, and I just. Cannot live without it now. You can listen to your favorite book during your commute, while you are cooking, cleaning, or folding your laundry at home, or even while you're working out. For you, yes, you. Audible is offering a free audio book download with a free 30-day trial to get you the opportunity to check out their service. Get a free Audible download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com/slash/the-real-global-voice, or you can go to my website and click on the Audible 30 Days Trial. I love free stuff, and you should definitely try it. Hey there! Thank you so much for listening to the end of the episode of the Real Global Voice podcast. My name is Emiko Rasmussen, and I'm your host. For those who are listening to this episode the very first time, welcome and thank you so much for finding my podcast. I know there are a lot of podcasts out there, and you have, you know, you took the time to click download and listen. And I thank you. And for those who are listening、um, repeatedly, I really appreciate your time and thank you so much for your love. Before we dive in, I wanted to share this message. It's a short message, but I have received from somebody who had taken my coaching session, and I'm not gonna say who or anything,、um, but I'm just gonna share. So she had taken my coaching session, and you know she had a little bit of.、Um, Self doubt, and she didn't have a confidence to really speak up and speak in front of people. So she shared her、um, message, or she sent me this message, and she said, "You actually changed my life. So happy that I have met you." Oh my gosh! Like I, I literally wanted to cry, and this is the reason why I do this. I just thank you so much for sending this message for. You know who <laughs> you're if you're listening, and you know I I am so thankful that you know I had an opportunity to work with her and I was able to impact. I'm all about making somebody's life better. And if you're wondering what is this coaching session is about,、uh, you can find it from my website. I know for. Those who are listening, especially people from Japan, I know coaching isn't that、um, well known, or you don't necessarily know what is coaching is all about. So, if you have questions, feel free to just message me, and I'm more than welcome to、um, explain what it is and see if I can be a best match. Because I can't help everybody, right? So, I have to be a best match to you as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and introduce to the, today's special guest. So today's guest, she is all the way from Hawaii. Aloha, I love Hawaii. <laughs> okay, so going back. So her name is Aiko Hemingway. Aiko lived in the United States for sixteen years. She teaches English pronunciation to people who speak English as a second language, based on the personal experience of not being able to speak English at all. When arriving in the states, she has graduated from UCLA in linguistics. She specializes 
in phonetics and phonology. That's a big word. I actually had to Google and had to learn how to pronounce this word. Anyway, so, and she lives in Hawaii and she is learning ukulele and she will start hula dancing soon. Amazing. And you guys, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know you're enjoying every single episode of、um, my interviews, but this one,、um, you actually get to learn a little bit about how to pronounce、uh, English a little bit better. So, for those who are,、um, whose English is a second language, you will definitely enjoy this conversation. So, here is the conversation with Aiko. Enjoy! Hi, Aiko san, how are you doing? Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, I'm good. How are you? Doing great. So, can you tell us about, more about your,、uh, yourself and like, what you do in the US? Sure. I actually do a few things.、Um, so, I do translation, and, which is the main source of income right now. But I do uh, accent, uh, American accent lessons also, and then teaching Japanese people how to、um, improve their pronunciation. Wow, that is so amazing. That is so cool. Can you actually share maybe just like one or two things that for like us Japanese that we need to be careful when we're pro,、um, pronunciation,、uh, what's how to say, like when we're like reading English or when we're talking English? What are the things that we need to be careful about? Well, I would say、um, you want to talk louder. Because、mm. Japanese people tend to speak quiet, right?、Okay. And sometimes, like, they can just hear you. They can't hear you, but then you think that, oh, my pronunciation was bad.、Oh. So just talk louder talk and slower.、Louder. I think that's the key. And then also, I think vowels are very different,、um, very, very important. Okay. Yeah, vowels. So you need to know the difference between、um, uh and a.、Eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it's also, in between like A and E sounds, right? Like A. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Uh, like,、um, for example, cut, C U T, cut. Uh huh. Uh, uh sound. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh.、Mm-hmm. And then the、uh, hat, um, boshi,、mm-hmm. H A T, hat, a sound is、mm-hmm. pretty difficult for Japanese people.、Uh-huh. And also, H O T. Hotto.、Mm-hmm. Ah, hotto.、Um, hotto. But, <laughs>、yeah. you know, in American English, people pronounce it hot. It's so, almost hot. like an A. Yeah, hot. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so very,、um, vowels are very different.、Um, you know, you don't want to speak English with Japanese vowels because、mm-hmm. there are so many more vowels in English. So that's what you need to know. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you, you do have a degree in linguistics, too, right? <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes,、yeah. I went to UCLA and I studied linguistics. And then my focus was the、uh, phonetics and oh, the、okay. um, intonation. Wow, amazing. That is so cool. So, can you tell us the why, your why story? So, why did you decide to do what you're doing and how did you get here? Okay,、um, I came here just to study English. I didn't have any goal or dreams. You know, I just wanted to.、Um, Have an experience of living in the States.、Um, so I was going to go back eventually after studying English here, but then I decided to, you know, I love being here and I decided to stay here. And so for the translation job, I was looking for a job and the translation company was just nearby. So it kind of happened just by accident. So,、mm-hmm. and I just took a test and I got accepted. Wow. So <laughs> that's how I started. And now I became a contractor so I can work from home.、Mm. Yeah. Wow. Working from home is just amazing things. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, do my, I, work,、um, I work in a corporate, you know, the American corporate America. So, you know, I do、um, commute three days, but then I get to work from home on Thursday. So, you know, I love that flexibility. So definitely.、Oh, That's nice. Yeah, I know like a lot of American companies do that, right? You can work、um, mm-hmm. from home. Yeah,、um, I'm pretty sure it's like depending on the job position, but especially my, the job that I'm doing right now, yeah, that literally a l l o w me to work from home. So, yeah, I think, yeah, American company has more flexibility, I would say. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah,、mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay, so. 
Can you tell us about the most challenging time living in the U.S. and what did you do to overcome and what did you learn from this experience? Sure. Um, probably the English was the most challenging thing for me uh, because I didn't speak English at all when I came here and I went to a college. I specifically looked for a college that did not have Japanese students so oh, that I yeah. so that I could uh, speak English all the time and but then you know I didn't speak English at all so I you know went through all that difficulties but mm -hmm. I practiced hard I didn't like I tried so many times and then made mistakes and then you know I learned um, little by little and you know I never gave up so now you know I can speak English yeah, fine. amazing. You know, have you ever watched the movie Zootopia? It's a Disney, like a little <gasps> kid's movie. No? <laughs> no, I've heard of it, but I Okay, I well, it. I'm a mom of two, so I always watch like a Disney movies, but uh -huh. your story literally reminded of the movie Zootopia. And then the song, it is, um, oh shoot, Try Everything is the song. And then one of the, um, the part that says, you know, we make mistakes and that's how we learn. And, you know, we, we hit the wall and then we get up and we just, you know, make new mistakes and that's how we learn. Like, that's kind of like the thing. And, you know, the story is about, you know, um, if there is nobody. So this little bunny wants to become a cop for this mm -hmm. Zootopia and the parents said, oh, there's no bunny cop, so you can't be that one. And she's like, well, then I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna have to be the first one. So mm. yeah, <laughs> like uh, your story kind of reminded me of Zootopia. Oh. I really love that movie too. So oh, well, really? if you I haven't watch watched that. it, please do. So yeah, I love yeah. the song that Shakira, she's the mm -hmm. one who's singing the song, Try Everything. And it's very motivating and I really love that song. So yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. All right. Yeah. So, on the flip side, what is your amazing? Uh, what is your awesome moment that you wouldn't be able to have if you were still in Japan? Okay. So here, I'm able to meet different people from all over the world. So I love it. Um, you know, being outside Japan, meaning you speak English too, so your world becomes um, bigger. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Japan is a great country, but it's very small. So yes. as long as you stay within Japan and speak only Japanese, you know, your world is very, very, very limited. Mm -hmm. But once you go outside, you know, your world is just very different and yeah. you can see the world very differently. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I completely agree. And it's just like having that different perspective and you're like literally... Right. You're seeing, I think somebody, one of the uh, the guests kind of mentioned about this where, you know, she was able to see Japan from outside and she right. had to learn a lot. So, yeah, I think that's a great opportunity because otherwise, if we're staying in Japan, then we don't get to see the other side of the world or, you know, nothing. So, right. yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So I am going to ask you some quick and super fun questions. Are you ready? Sure. Yep. All right. So my first question would be this. What is one thing that you would, you or, um, what is it? What is one thing that you miss about Japan? Well, I miss family because, mm. you know, they're in Japan um, and the friends. I try to go back to Japan once a year or every other year. But, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah, miss them. That's one thing I miss. Yeah. Will you get to go back for this? This this year, I mean, this year's already ending, but yeah, maybe like next summer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's exciting. All right. Yeah. So, what is fun fact about you? Okay. Um, I don't know if you know the movie called Friday, but I can cite the movie really well. What do you um, mean by you can cite the movie? Like I memorized the line. Oh. <laughs> oh really? No, I've never um, watched that. Friday is it like a, what kind of movie is it? It's like really. Um, I would say it's a really um, ghetto movie. <laughs> oh, really. Um, and the Chris Tucker and Ice oh, Cube okay. are okay, in it. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's <laughs> that's the movie I learned slangs. Oh, interesting. Because um, mm -hmm, you need to know. Um, mm -hmm 
bad words and you know yeah culture, you, you don't necessarily like want to say it but definitely you want to you have to be aware of that as well right so, right oh, i don't yeah. use it though i don't use it though oh, okay. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but but it's true you know you, you gotta you gotta learn those you know um slangs and then it's just like a how do you say like an idiom or sometimes mm-hmm. you know america here um people in us they say a lot of um what is the word like sar- sarcasm like, oh sar- sar- yeah, yeah sarcasm yeah see mm-hmm. like i had to learn that like people are saying like oh that was so funny or like wait did did you say it was funny and like um right yeah so that, that was kind of yeah. like a thing that i had to learn as well so definitely right yeah Mm-hmm. All right, cool. All right, so let me dig your global mind. What was holding you back to step outside of Japan and do what you are doing right now? Well, um, probably English mm-hmm. and maybe my personality too because I'm really shy and I get really nervous so easily. Um, but then, you know, once I came here and noticed that people just accept you as a as who you are. You know, here, like, people just um, know that everyone is different. So, you know, you don't have to be anyone. You can just be yourself and then mm-hmm. you're just fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and for English, you know, again, I didn't speak English at all. So that was something that that I worried about. Right. Um, I have a quick question for you. You said that you are shy. So, Mm -hmm. you know, in Japan, I think there are a lot of people who are saying, you know, well, I'm too shy, like, I'm too shy to speak English or whatever, whatever. How, Mm -hmm. like, is there anything... the, the reason why I'm asking you this is because I'm such an extrovert and I am not shy at all. So, cool. you know, there are certain things that I cannot relate or I can't necessarily share my experience. So I'm just <laughs> wondering, like, what what can you do? Because I think being a shy, it's really cute as a, a kid. As a kid, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, you're right. shy, you know. But then right. I think, you know, as an adult, although you're shy, you kind of have to, you know, you have to get going and you know you you have to speak up especially if you right. you know you you want to live in in us you know you have to speak up so what what are the things that that what are the things you did to kind of like overcome that shyness well i focused on my strengths i mm. guess you know rather than like oh i'm too shy to try anything but what I did was I still get really nervous, like talking in front of people, like doing stuff, but I do it. I just do it. You know what hey, I mean? Hey, you're like, just doing it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is actually my first interview. So, oh, you know, awesome. I'm pretty nervous right now. But, you know, when um, when this opportunity came, I just said, yes, you know, I don't let it go. That's mm. because I'm shy and I get nervous. You know, that doesn't mean I should let it go, you know. This is a good opportunity, so so I just took it, you know, whatever, uh, I mess up, whatever, okay. you know, it doesn't matter, I just tried anyway. Yeah, oh wow, that's great, so focus on the strengths and just do it and say yes. Mm-hmm, yes. Amazing, great, so what is the biggest cultural difference between Japan and the US? What is one cultural value that you respect the most and the cultural value that you need to drop and adjust to fit to the country that you're living in, so in the U.S.? Okay, so I respect the way people speak here, like mm-hmm. when they address some issues. Um, even like, uh, for example, even when they want to make a claim or a complaint, um, they speak in a good manner without giving an attitude. So they're still nice about it. It's at work too. Your boss like, I never had a boss that talks to me in a very bad way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so pretty much everyone is equal. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, you know, if you're a supervisor and you're working for the supervisor, you know, it doesn't matter. So you need to be nice about it. That's mm-hmm. like, you know, the way that they speak, mm-hmm. the language that they use are very, very nice. Yeah. And yeah, so they know how to encourage people. So mm. uh, instead of focusing on the weakness, you know, they focus on your strength and then they try to encourage others. So that's I really like about. And 
one thing I needed to adjust would be um, can do attitude, like being in Japan, like being shy. So like, oh, I can't do any, you know, I can do this, I can't do that, right? But then here, people say that, oh, I can do this, and then they just try and then do it, right? So that's something that I started doing. Yeah. Well, wow. Like there are a lot of things that you said in here. Well, first of all, you know, you mentioned about like everybody's equal here. You know, mm-hmm. I think, um, for example, here in the U.S., I mean, I've been working in the corporate America for over 10 years, so I can say this. But, you know, um, we don't necessarily we call anybody like VP, anybody we call um, we address them as first name. Mm-hmm. It's like, right. hey, John, yep. hey, Andrew, hey, you know, Jennifer, and all that. So, like, mm-hmm. that kind of, like, allow us to connect well versus, you know, in Japan, you know, there's always that. I mean, I completely respect Keigo and all that, everything. However, mm-hmm. you know, that really add like, one screen or one wall between, you know, myself and that person. So, it's kind of hard to... Um, relate or hard to build the relationship and you mm-hmm. uh, you have mentioned about you know talking nicely um, I the, the very first job that I worked in um, in here in US I, I worked with the Japanese company mm-hmm. and I still do remember um, this this Japanese um, professional Japanese man who was working he was here he was working as a chuzai Mm-hmm. Um, Jin, and then you know he was like so upset for something and he was just like pretty much yelling uh-huh. like half Japanese and half English to the person you know mm-hmm. I was like that is just not right no yeah right so yeah. Those, <laughs> those are the things and oh and then I, I have another thing that I remember one of my friends um, she used to be um, a hairstylist in mm-hmm. If I mention the, the company's name, it's, it's going to be over here, so I, I won't mention, but here in San Diego, and it's a very well-known Japanese um, company, and then mm-hmm. she quit her job because of the boss, because he was so mean, mm-hmm. and then the things that he asked her to do was just ridiculous, mm-hmm. um, so she said, I am, you know, I'm quitting, so it's like, you know, people quit because of people. So right. if you don't have a good, you know, leadership skills, you know, you mentioned about, you know, here in U.S. people do a lot of recognition and, you know, provide um, encouragement, you know, even like annual reviews, you know, they talk a lot about, you know, here are the things that you did so well and, you know, they're very clear about these are the things that you can work well, but here are the things that you did a great job. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I really love that. And then mm-hmm. what was the other thing you mentioned? The can-do attitude. I wrote it down. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like... What I yeah, was like say. Japanese <laughs> Japanese people focus on what they cannot do. Oh yes, um, yes, yes. Uh-huh. But then here, people just say, "Oh, I can do this," and then they try it. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here, so this is what I was gonna say. So one day, my coworker introduced this um, person, and he's like, "Oh, you know, he can speak Japanese." So I just wanted to introduce you, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." And then I asked him, like, "Oh, can you speak Japanese?" And he said, "Yes." Yes, I can mm-hmm. speak Japanese. So then I started talking to him, you know, in Japanese, thinking like, oh, he can talk like, fluently. So I started saying Japanese, like, blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, um, I couldn't understand what you said. <laughs> but that can do attitude, like, yeah, of course I can speak Japanese. And then, indeed, he did speak Japanese. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, he was saying like, yeah, I can do it. I can speak Japanese. It's like that attitude. I really liked it. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah me too. so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. And then, okay, so having a global mindset, communication skills and leaderships are um, very important to to have, to be successful, but uh, we don't necessarily get to learn those things. So I'm just curious, like, what is one thing that you wish you knew that you, you want the listener to know? Mm-hmm. Actually, I thought of it, and I um, have three things, though. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah, of course. Go for it. Okay. So the first one is it's okay to be yourself. Like you do not have to be anyone else. So that's one thing I should, I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. Um, And next one is it's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like everyone makes mistakes. It's inevitable. So, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, and then the next one is it's okay to say if you don't agree because mm. everyone is different you know you 
you can have your own opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so those wow. are the three things. Yeah. Wow. Those are amazing. That's true. It's it's really like for me. I'm. I don't know if you know about this like disc communication style. I recently did the little mini training for my uh, global app community group. But uh, this training is about like how you how you communicate and how you say it and how you react. So there's the D, the dominant. Um, I, influential. S, the um, steadiness, and C is the conscientious. So I'm SI, so I I like, I don't like conflict. I like to focus on harmony. Mm-hmm. So, and then I'm I as well. So I is type of people who really focus on people. So mm-hmm. it's pretty much, I don't like to to go against the majority or I don't like to, dis- uh, I don't like to disagree. So this mm-hmm. is something that I had to learn the very hard way because mm-hmm. I had to learn, like, I can't make everybody happy. So as a manager, you know, when I have to make a decision, you know, maybe there are one person or maybe two people who are not happy with the decision that I have to go to, but I just have to go with it. Mm -hmm. So definitely I had to learn the hard way. So yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So thank Mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. So it's time for me to get some advice Mm -hmm. for the next global woman who want to work globally or even want to become an entrepreneur. So, ここは、えっと、日本語でいきますね。あ、はい。はい。えっと、20代から30代の自分にアドバイスをするとしたら、どんな声をかけてあげますかえっと、ビジネスの本をもっと読みなさい。<笑>やっぱり、あの、お金のことを勉強するのはすごい大事だと思って、今はそう思ってるんですけど、前は全然気がつかなくてでこういうのって家庭でも習わないし学校でも習わないじゃないですかこういうファイナンシャル,、うんね、ファイナンシャルに関するこういう、うんえっと、情報っていうのはなかなか入ってこないのでもう自分から、うん、自分があお金のことは大切だと思ってこう本を探したり情報を探したりしない限り入ってこない情報だと思うので、まあうんうん、あのよっぽどあの自分の親が会社経営とかでもあの小さい頃から勉強するっていう環境にいる方は別として私のようなやっぱり普通の一般家庭からこうで育った状態ではそういう情報っていうのは全然入ってこなかったので、えー、勉強しておけばよかったなと思いましたそうですねあの私も本当に自分でこう家を買ってあの、うん、こう自分のファイナンシャルとかすごい気をつけなきゃいけないのって、本当今も思考覚悟って、なんていうの、思考覚悟じゃない、思考錯誤か、うんうんうん。あの、本当に今も経験をしながら本当に学んでるって感じで。はい。うん、はい。あの、特になんかおすすめの本とかってありますかえー、っと、最近読んだのは、はあ、はあ、タイトルがちょっとわかんないんですけど、うんうんミリ、ミリオネアマインド。なんとかなんとかミリオネアマインドっていうのを最近読んで、はいはいはいねうんうん、えー、っと、勉強しました。あとはでも YouTube とかで、そうですね、ビジネスのファイナンシャルについてのビデオをたくさん見るとか、うんうんうんうん、あと、あの、ロバート清崎のあの、リッチ、リッチダー、ポーダー。あ、リッチダー、ポーダー。はいはいはい。すごいこ、うん、アメリカではすごく、うん、あれですよね。あの、ニューヨークベストラルで。はい。うん、有名ですね、はいで。はい。で、その人がシリーズで、あの、タックスに関しての本を出してるんで、それを読んで勉強したりとか、うんうんうん、はい、すごいしし、私は、私、本当に数字が苦手なんですね、私は。なので、<笑>旦那に任せっきりなんです、このアメリカってね、<笑>タックス4月に、こう、ファイルしなきゃいけないじゃないですか。はい、もう全部も任せっきりで。<笑><笑>そうか、じゃあ、あの、<笑>ミリオネ、後で、じゃあ、あの、その本のタイトルを教えてもらえますかそしたら、ショーノ、ショーノートの方に入れます。あはい、わかりました。はい、ありがとうございます。そして、最後に、はい、えっ、ー、と、海外で働きたい、起業がしたい、英語を生かした仕事をしたい、そんなグローバルを視野に輝きたい女性に、今、やるべきアクションアイテムを一つお願いします。はい、もう、とにかく、始めること。何かを始めること。で、その、始めること、何かすることが、えっ、ー、と、ま、なんだろう、正しい、それが正しい道かどうかっていうのは分からなくてもいいと思うんですね。でとにかく何かを始めて、何かに挑戦しないと何も始まらないと思うので、うん、もうとにかく、今だと思ったらとにかく始めること、うんうんうん、で、そう、どんどん挑戦していくことによって、絶対、あの、
機会ってあのチャンスチャンスは絶対来ると思うんですねだからそのチャンスをあこれがチャンスだと思ってちゃんと逃さない。でやっぱりそのチャンスがチャンスだと気づくためにはやっぱり自分も準備できてないといけないのでそれをそこまでにたどり着くまでに、えっと、あやっぱり日,日本語だと難しいで、えっとうんえーね、心の準備ができているかによってそれをチャンスだと気が付くことができ、うんうんうんうん、それを絶対に逃さないですね。そうですねすごくそのアドバイスも本当にいいと思います。よく考え込んじゃって、あの、うんうん、こうやったらもしかしたらこんな、これでダメかもしれないっていうそのネガティブなことを思い、なんて言うんだろう。たくさん思っちゃって、こう、なかなかその、初めの一歩が踏み出せない。私もこのポッドキャスト実は11月、はい、去年の11月にやりたいと思ったんですね。で、ずるずるずるずる引きずって考えてたりとか、あの、いろんな情報を、まあ、いろんな情報でお勉強してたりとか、そういうのもあるんですけども、ずるずる引きずって、その1年後に、あの、まあ、始めようって本当に思ったのが8月とか9月ぐらいに、やっぱりこれはやろうと思って、本当にもうそれで始めたんですね、私も。<笑>本当に。はい、すごい、すごい。<笑>そうそう、だから、ね、やっぱりその考え、考えててもダメなんですよね。こう始めてみないとわからない,、はい。で、私も実際にこのポッドキャストを始めて、はい、たくさんの愛子さんみたいにすごく素敵なあのグローバルママに会うことができて、本当にやってよかったなって。思うこともあるし、うん、やっぱその大変なことはいっぱいあ、はい、あの、特に私はメインの仕事もしているので、これは本当にサイドでやっていることなので、こう、たまにはもう本当に寝る時間がもう5時間4時間だったりとか、そういうことももちろんあるんですけども、でも、そういうことよりもやっぱりそのポジティブなことの方が大きいので、本当にそういうのってやってみないとわからないですもんね、はい。はい、そうですね。もうとにかく始めることが、うん大切だと思いますね。はい。はい。Right. Thank you so much.So then,、ね、where can, where and how can we find you to connect with you so that, you know, our listener can get, get in touch with you?You can say this in Japanese,、um, or English either way. Ah,、uh, sure. I have actually two websites.、Uh, one for、uh, translation job and the other one is for accent reduction.So for the translation,、uh, you can go to lingo.com, L-I-N-G, ow.com、mm-hmm. and for the、um, accent reduction, it's hatsonkyose.com. So it's literally hatsonkyose. It's h a t s u o n k y o s e i.com. Awesome. So for those who are driving or maybe, you know, you're listening and driving or writing on the train that you can't write it down, don't worry. I am going to put all the information in the show notes so you can find all the links to、um, Aiko-san's show note from today. So, okay, all right.、Great. Is there anything else? Do、um, you do any like a blog,、um, blogging or anything? So you do like a, a training course, correct? Yes. Okay, so, and then do you do that only for like、um, here in the US or do you do that service for people in Japan as well or anywhere actually? Anywhere actually, because、okay. I、uh, teach on Skype. So, okay, great. And, yep. All right, so anybody can use, anybody can, t- not necessarily take out about this, but anybody can learn something from Aiko san for sure. So please check that out. Okay,、great. so that's all for today. Thank you so much for、mm-hmm. joining this conversation and you had to share a lot of amazing experience,、uh, experiences, knowledge. So thank you.、Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. All right.、Yeah. So I will, I will connect with you again.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Sure.、Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me.、Uh-huh. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. There you have it. How was our conversation? I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. There are so many things that she said, it was just so amazing. And I use the word amazing a lot, huh? <laughs> I just noticed myself, anyway. So, yes,、um, some of the things that she said、um, definitely she said, focus on your strengths and just do it and say yes. And it is so important because so many people think that, well, I don't know if I'm good enough, or I don't know if I can. Want to stop that negative talk and just focus on what you can do, just don't focus on what you cannot do because if you are focusing on that, then you are never going to be able to move forward. So, focus.
book of some things that you can do already and go ahead and do it and just say yes and of course it's important to say no too sometimes but say yes to the opportunities please <laughs> and uh, the other thing that she said was um, you know making mistakes is a great thing it's a great way for us to improve and that is so, so true if you don't do it you can't even make a mistake and you can't even learn making mistakes is a good thing because making mistakes is not something that you should be ashamed of this is a lear the first learning experience so you learn from there so if you're making the same mistakes over and over obviously then that is not a good learning experience but if you make a mistake one time and you learn something from that lesson and you just do something better there you go right oh I, I just cannot I used to be so afraid of making mistakes and not do not to do anything so because I, I hated myself to put myself in somewhere it's like a risky situation or unknown situation but I'm not doing a service to myself and because I'm doing these things and because I make mistakes and I am learning so uh, as I was having a conversation and you know I brought up about the a Disney movie called Zootopia and I can only talk about the kids movies because I only know the kids movies as of right now um, but anyway so Zootopia I highly recommend you to watch I know it's for kids but it's definitely that message is not just for kids this Disney movie is always good for everybody right and definitely that movie really taught me to just keep going and make mistakes and then you learn from there and also the song um, Shakila she is that song is called try everything and it is just that is like my song whenever I feel discouraged or feeling down I always listen to that uh, song and I just you know boost my <laughs> self-confidence uh, focus on the positive so yes please listen and yes that is all for today before I let you go I just wanted to let you know about my private Facebook group it is open to any woman who are feeling less confident and feeling discouraged and you know undervalued especially because of the language barrier or the cultural barrier that you have because perhaps you're you know moving to US but you have moved to US as an adult age so there are a lot of barriers there and there are a lot of women who are facing those barriers but they're working together to really break through that barriers and break through their self-doubt so that they can do whatever you that they really wanted to do and creating their meaningful life and that is all about what I'm trying to do here so if you feel like you know oh that's me and please join and let's help each other and support each other we're just amazing and you're amazing Okay, thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day. Bye! Thank you so much for listening to the another episode of the Real Global Voice Show. Please make sure to subscribe to my show and leave your review, which will help the show to be more visible and easy for other women to find.私は皆様のご感想をiTunesのレビューから聞きたいので、ぜひ書き込みの本をお願いします。皆さんのレビューが増えることにより、もっとたくさんの方がこのポッドキャストを見つけることができます。エピソードゲストの詳細、無料ニュース
Don't let others to stop you. You can do it. It's my job to empower, motivate, and inspire you to be the next global woman. This is Emiko Rasmussen from the Emmy Style.